And welcome back for episode 9 of my Twisted Wonderland Glorious Masquerade makeup series, where I'm doing a look based off of each character featured in the Glorious Masquerade event. We're in the home stretch now, gang! Last episode, I set my face on fire and made one of my best mini hats for Edia, and for this episode, we're jumping over to my other favorite dorm, Diasomnia. Today's inspo shall be none other than Malleus's number one fanboy, Sebek Zigvolt. And here's my concept sketch. I decided to add color to the negative spaces of the mask so you could actually tell its filigree and to add more interest, cause the actual mask is just black on black, and that's kinda hard to see, so yeah. Plus it'll match the eyeshadow on the other eye and make it a more cohesive look. Now without further ado, Alonzi! After prepping my face and gluing down my eyebrows, I primed my eyelids with the usual Beauty Creations color-based eye primer in Whiteout. I put that all over my eyelids, up to my brow bone, and dragged it out past my inner corner on one eye but not the other, and added it all the way around my under eye. Before you move on, don't forget to add your setting powder barrier. Now for the eyeshadow. For today's look, I'm only using two palettes, first one being my beloved Lure by Blend Bunny. First, take the shade Mermaid Lagoon and apply it starting just outside your inner corner and stopping almost at the center of your eyelid. Next, take the shade above it, Sea Foam, and add that to the rest of your eyes starting from the center and drag it out past your inner corner to create a flat top wing. Don't let it go any lower than the outer corner of your eye. And remember, don't do any of this to your other eye, leave that one alone. Now take a little bit of Uncharted and add that to your inner corner next to Mermaid Lagoon. This will be our transition shade into an even darker color. Now finger blend where all of those colors meet. Finally, grab some black eyeshadow, I'm using the matte black shade from Neko Yonid's Morbid palette, and add that onto your inner corner as well, and drag it all the way around your under eye, making it meet up with the lighter green and creating the bottom half of your wing. And now for your other eye, since that half of your face will be covered by the mask, just add the matte black eyeshadow all over it, all the way around. Easy peasy. And with that, your eyeshadow is done, so go on ahead and remove your setting powder barrier. And now to start sketching out the mask. Have your reference image on standby and channel your inner David Bowie to sketch out a gigantic lightning bolt on your face using a detail brush and brown eyeshadow. Now before we do anything else with the mask, I'm gonna go back in with more of Mermaid Lagoon and contour my face with it. I tried to do a harsh contour cause I feel like if Sebek were a girl, he'd be a harsh beauty type with a very angular face, like Visenya Targaryen. But I don't think I did it right. 
contour has always been my one area of weakness in makeup. No matter what I do, I just can never get it right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Or well, at least contouring my cheeks. My nose, I know what I'm doing. But the cheeks, no. On the one eyebrow the mask wasn't covering, I sketched out a long lightning bolt shaped eyebrow with sea foam and then went over the sketch and filled it with white Mehron face paint to act as a primer. I did try using my eye primer to see if it would work and it did not go well. It essentially took off the foundation I put over top of the glue, so face paint it is. While that was drying down, I went and added some sparkle to the inner corner of my unmasked eye using the lovely green shimmer folklore from the lore palette. Why am I doing this now though? It's because I 100% forgot to do it until right then and there. Whoopsie! And speaking of sparkle, I also grabbed the pearl white shade Fog that I misnamed Frost in the last episode from the Morbid palette and used it to highlight my nose, the apple of my cheek, my forehead, and my cupid's bow. And now we come back to the mask. I started adding sea foam all over the top half of the mask, trying my best to stay inside the lines. Then switch to Mermaid Lagoon for the bottom half. And I also added a teeny bit of Uncharted at the bottom for more depth. Despite getting pretty good coverage the first go around, I did have to go back over all of the colors with an eyeshadow applicator just so that they would show up better. Then I took sea foam again for the last time and added it over top of the lightning bolt eyebrow once the paint fully dried down. Not the best method, but it's what works for me. I'm a makeup enthusiast, not a professional. Anyway, now to grab the all-important black eyeliner and paint on that mask. Using a detail eyeliner brush, I outlined the whole thing first. and then started drawing triangles and diamonds with thick lines to give the appearance of filigree. This step takes the longest, so be patient. You're not gonna get it done any faster if you rush. And while I have you guys here, I wanna share a cool little fun fact with you that I've been sitting on for a while. Don't worry, it's twist related. So. Most of us Twist and veteran Black Butler fans know that Yana Toboso, the creator of both Twist and BB, is known for their attention to detail and doing their homework and adding absolutely insane amounts of hidden references in all of their character designs. And Sebek is no different. While the entire Diasomnia gang are based off of the Celtic Fae folk, including Sebek, he actually has some Egyptian inspiration as well. And this is where being an insufferable ancient Egypt kid back in elementary and middle school finally pays off. I think I still have my mummification book lying around somewhere, but anyway. You see, Sebek is specifically a half-crocodile fae, and in the polytheistic religion of ancient Egypt, they had a god of the crocodiles that hung out in the Nile River, and his name is Sobek. No joke, it's even spelled the same way as Sebek, just one letter off. Ain't that crazy? Blew my freaking mind when I found that out. Once the mask completely dries down, get some more of your black eyeliner and line your actual eyes. 
On your unmasked eye, line it all the way around and create a wing where the black and green meet on your outer corner. Then line your other eye. You don't have to do the wing on the other one if you don't want to. It's not like anybody's gonna see it. And now for the finishing touch, the lipstick. Introducing Black Moon Cosmetics Sinister Satin, Greta. Fun fact, this is the same green lipstick I used for my Dark Mirror cosplay back in the day, if any of you out there remember. Still one of my best cosplays to date, TBH, and this was essentially a closet cosplay. Also, I found out while getting a picture of the lipstick from Black Moon's site to show you guys since the twister on mine is broken, that Greta has unfortunately been discontinued and I am not okay. Moving on, I started by taking a face paint detail brush and drawing out the lip shape I wanted, which I was going to do anyway before I found out the twister was broken, but in order to color in my lips, I had to get a cotton swab and get some of the lipstick on there to apply it. Thankfully, it wasn't too much of a struggle, and it actually kind of functioned the same way as a regular liquid lipstick doe foot. So yeah, pro tip, if your lipstick bullet ever stops twisting upwards for you, just, um, just get you a cotton swab and take some off the top and it'll go on the same way. Thank you, mom, for that little nougat of knowledge. And now, for the final reveal. And cue the glamour shots. The lightning bolt came out even cooler than I had it in my original sketch. I just, ah! Uh, it's giving goth Alan insane and I love it. I even tried to recreate or do my best to mimic the cover in this last pick right here. I don't know if I nailed it, but I like it, so that's what matters. And we can't forget the obligatory eye close up. I am so proud of this eyeshadow gradient. Oh, mwah! And with that, Sebex look is done. Only two more to go. Woohoo! I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and come back next time for the penultimate episode where I'll be tackling silver. But until then, stay twisted. <laughs>